T minus T minus 10. ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the third space-based infrared system for the United States Air Force. And we start a closed loop control on Atlas PU. Engine continues to operate normally. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. 30 seconds into the mission, everything works good. Engine continues to operate at 100% thrust. Vehicle is flying right down the center of the range track. And seeing normal control on the PU system. Everything looks good. And we are now 50% of our liftoff weight. Seconds in, everything looks good. Engine continues to operate percent thrust as expected. And we followed the RCS power valve, pressurizing the reaction control system on the second stage. That booster continues to operate normally. Seeing good engine pressures. Continuing to fly right down the center of the range track. 31 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange, traveling at 5,100 miles per hour. And we've gone to closed loop steering. We've throttled down to 92%, right on time. And vehicle continues to actively steer. Good engine pressures at 92%. And the vehicle now weighs. 25% of what it did at liftoff. And we're now flying a constant 5G throttle segment. Everything looks good. Coming up on Beco and staging. Less than 10 seconds away from Beco. We have booster engine cutoff. Normal shutdown. And we have stage separation. And boost phase chill is accomplished as expected. Pre-start on locks and fuel. Everything looks good. Ignition, full thrust. The all 10 is up to full thrust. Everything looking good. Coming up on fairing separation. And we have fairing separation right on time. And Centaur continues to operate as expected. 
100 miles in altitude, 304 miles downrange, traveling at 16,000 miles per hour.